It may be possible for microorganisms to survive on Mars for far longer than previously anticipated. Researchers recently found that dried up bacteria may potentially survive in conditions similar to those on Mars for up to 280 million years, increasing the likelihood that we would discover signs of them if Mars had ever sustained life. The majority of earlier tests to see whether microorganisms could survive the harsh radiation on Mars utilized hydrated bacteria that were kept at room temperature, with the longest living strains expected to be able to last for up to a million years. Researchers at Northwestern University in Illinois dehydrated and froze a variety of bacteria and yeast before exposing them to radiation that would be experienced by a life form buried on Mars, evaluating the results. When you get rid of the water and freeze everything down, the resistance increases astronomically. It is comparable to freeze-drying food to extend its shelf life. Bacteria would probably be present on Mars, given that it is a dry, frigid environment. The radiation in the samples used by the researchers caused so little radiation damage that they believed the bacteria may live for up to 280 million years. During that period, the bacteria would awaken from their dormant state if they were warmed up and exposed to water. It raises the possibility that you may experience rejuvenation if a meteor carrying some waterfalls and splashes on the surface. The likelihood that it is still alive has gone from zero to the smallest thing you can conceive. It is not zero, but it most definitely isn't large. Even the most tenacious microbes have probably long since died out when Mars dried up which is thought to have happened roughly 3 billion years ago. This longevity implies that if we infect it with earthly creatures, that contamination would be almost permanent, but it may also make it simpler for us to locate preserved traces of any bacteria that had thrived on Mars. How can we know if what we discover was there before we got there, or whether it was something we deposited? If we pollute the region that we land in, when we don't know what life could look like, how can we seek for it on other planets? One scientist believes he has the simple solution. No matter what they are composed of, seek for complex molecular structures. The approach could provide a quick solution for future space missions to widen the search. Until recently, the hunt for biosignatures or traces of life on other planets tended to concentrate mostly on chemicals similar to those used by life forms. As a result, Missions to Mars search for organic molecules, and future missions to Europa could search for amino acids, uneven ratios of mirror image molecules, and odd carbon isotope ratios, all of which are indicators of life on Earth. The organic compounds that life need to survive are abundant on Mars. Two investigations from the Curiosity rover discovered complex organic compounds that have been preserved in clay for 3.5 billion years and methane that seeps out from the Earth in the summer. Organic molecules are the most prevalent ones that include carbon. No organic compounds as sophisticated as those that Curiosity discovered in a dry lake bed have ever been discovered on Mars before. We believe that these sophisticated organic molecules, which we can pick up and analyze now, were circling in a lake on Mars more than 3 billion years ago. We have shown the capacity to detect organics and Mars has demonstrated the ability to maintain them. These molecules may have come from living things. They might have formed from volcanic eruptions or come from meteorites. They could have served as food for bacteria on ancient Mars, even if they weren't living forms. And since they were stored for such a long period, any identical microorganisms, if they ever existed, may have also been preserved for us to discover. Understanding where organic molecules exist and how they are preserved is crucial as we try to figure out how to hunt for life since there may be a link between organic molecules and life. Underground Deposits Another team examined the simpler organic molecule methane in the atmosphere of the red planet using curiosity. We knew there was methane there, but the timing and location of its greatest abundances appeared arbitrary. Researchers discovered a cyclical pattern with summer seeing a rise in methane levels in the Martian atmosphere. We may be able to identify the source of the methane with the aid of these cycles. 
It's a little like having an occasional car problem. If it changes, you can't identify what it is. You need it to be repeatable, so you can find out what happened. The variations that they saw best matched a theory in which Mars methane originated deep down and made its way to the surface through cracks and fissures. When it's cold, methane would attach to the dust on the surface, and a little temperature shift would cause it to rise into the sky. It's still unclear how the subsurface methane may have gotten there. Even a connection between the methane and the other organic matter is conceivable. You could have organic stuff deep below that is undergoing different processes and producing methane that vents to the surface. Are such activities carried out by organisms? Is it life? It's almost hard to distinguish between geological and biological production of methane, even on Earth, similar to the more complex organics. Numerous non-biological processes have the potential to create organic compounds on Mars. However, life is still on that list. There has to be liquid water for life to survive on Mars. On Mars, there is a lot of water, but the majority of it is underground and frozen in the polar ice caps. When a massive ice cover develops on a planet's surface, it pushes down on the ground below it. The temperature of the Earth affects how much it sinks. A cold subsurface is more solid and sinks more slowly than a warm one. Since salt reduces the freezing point of water, there may be liquid water underneath part of the top ice despite the cold temperatures. Mars is covered with water, and it may have once had hot springs. On its surface, Mars formerly had rivers and oceans, but they are no longer there. It's possible that the planet became dry when its crust permanently absorbed much of the ancient water. Numerous studies have hypothesized that Mars lost its water, as well as its atmosphere at the same time, perhaps as a result of the water evaporating and leaving into space. That process, however, fails to explain water loss on the magnitude that is thought to have happened on Mars. As the sun was less hot and Mars was much colder than it is today, it is difficult to explain this. Perhaps a little amount of heat was trapped by greenhouse gases, but certainly not enough. The existence of organic molecules, the building blocks of all life on Earth, is another important indicator to search for besides the presence of water. Complex organic compounds have been discovered by NASA's Curiosity rover, which may have been produced by extinct living forms. Thanks for watching. Do us a favor, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.